Hey guys, my name is Nishi. I run Food Fitness Fashion. This is a 100% online nutrition, mindfulness, and fitness uh, service that basically gives you tips and techniques to stay fit, healthy, and mindful in your own lifestyle. It doesn't require you to change your diet. It doesn't require you to you know, change the way you live, but essentially teaches you in your own lifestyle how to be effective and have a healthy, fun, and absolutely um, you know, strong and um, strong in your body lifestyle that you can sustain. So um, as part of my, you know, um, staying healthy while being home and staying healthy uh, while just, you know, uh, in all phases of your life, I'm going to share some topics of interest. Uh, one of the topics that a few of my clients have requested is a topic of binge eating. And I'm going to do a few short series or segments on this topic. Uh, I hope you find this useful. Please leave me comments and feedback. This will be posted on my YouTube and um, IGTV channels. So um, let's talk about what binge eating is. So binge eating is a common eating disorder. And this is really when you find yourself powerless um, eating large amount of foods. You will not, you probably don't even realize it that you're eating large amount of foods. So your brain doesn't send you the signal to stop, but you start to feel pretty, frustrated, annoyed, or guilty during that act or after the fact. And that could lead to more binge eating. So it's essentially a compulsive eating disorder that can occur, typically occurs after adolescence. Um, and it leads you to eating large amount of foods in one sitting, um, followed by feelings of depression, anxiety, um, and all that sort. So that's binge eating by definition. Um, there are various reasons um, binge eating can occur. Let's talk about, in this session, let's talk about the symptoms of binge eating, and then we'll talk about how to break the binge eating cycle in this segment. And in the following segments, we'll talk about once you've broken the cycle, what can you do to cure some healthy habits and keep it off? Um, and also, you know, get your friends and family in your circle to help you keep it off because, you know, we thrive because the community supports us, right? We should never forget that. So here are some of the symptoms of uh, this binge eating or the compulsive eating disorder, if I may say so. It's essentially your inability to stop eating, um, you know, feel powerless in, in front of food, eating normally in front of others but you know gorging when you're on your own um you know creating a lot of food at home like stockpiling food um and hiding it away sometimes unknowingly and then going in going and eating it um in one sitting um you know these are essentially some of the symptoms again eating continuously throughout the day could also be binge eating right where you don't have any planned meal times um and you just continue to eat and you feel normal about it so those are your behavioral sim symptoms um, there's also a category of emotional symptoms can, that can drive binge eating. Um, and that's typically when you're stressed and you could be, you know, stress is not really bad. There's this whole thing around, you know, how much cortisol should be generated in the body. Uh, but when stress gets to, your, to a level where, you know, the signals from your brain to stop or not do certain things are not perceived correctly and we you know, kind of disobey that and go keep doing certain things, that could be a result of stress, right? So feeling that tension or the stress that that you feel can only be relieved through eating is, is basically a category of emotional symptom. A uh, few other things could be, you know, you could be obsessed about your weight. Maybe you've had a goal of losing the belly fat or you know reducing weight for a very long time and you're not satisfied with your growth and your progress um the feeling guilty disgusted about few other things that are going on in our lives right we all have a plethora of emotions going on for ourselves so being in that emotional roller coaster can can lead to binge eating unconsciously right you're unaware of it and then you start doing it so these are some of the signs signs emotionally emotional signs that we should watch out for um and now i'm going to talk about uh 
the binge eating cycle right so it is a cycle believe it or not you don't know you're doing it but it, it is formulated as a cycle so essentially you you get a feeling where you are either you know not feeling you know happy content or calm you have you're either anxious or curious you're dissatisfied about certain things yeah overwhelmed depressed whatever that that feeling that doesn't let you you know correlate your stomach with your brain or just be you know happy with an empty a void right when you always want to fill it up when you have that feeling you you then rush to in in that binge eating cycle you you rush to that food right um not necessarily a drink you will go to the food right to get you into that feeling of satiety so essentially the cycle starts with that negative feeling or that feeling that you know takes you over and then you get overwhelmed and you start eating and then you go into a binge and while doing that you start feeling even more anxious and you know nervous because now you've started to identify that you're actually getting into a binge and then you feel really upset and then you and then you cut back then you do a severe diet or you tell yourself tomorrow i'm going to fast or i'm you know going to like you know not eat all these things and you know your mind starts to like playing all those games and believe it or not you go back into feeling nervous and depressed again because obviously you have starved so you know all your your cortisol goes higher your oxytocin dopamine goes lower and then you go back into feeling overwhelmed you binge again you feel nervous and depressed again you call a diet in and then you go back again so that's the cycle right um so we need to break the cycle right and there are, there are a few things you can do to break the cycle and i'm going to call that out in bullet points um and then we're going to stop this segment so um i hope that after the segment you can identify for yourself if you or anyone in your family or in your close circle has this habit and then obviously it's it's a disorder it's not good for you to have it sustained and and it take these bullet points to kind of identify and start breaking them down for yourself and then in the next segments i'm, I'm going to show you once you've identified through this segment how do you keep them off right so first first thing to break the binge eating cycle is avoid temptation so a quick check of what's in your fridge what's in your pantry are you keeping a ton of junk food i've heard a lot of my clients say oh i have young kids so i have those oreo cookies or i have a ton of the other ice cream in the fridge and while all that is not bad but it's not the best thing for you especially if you have that disorder and we necessarily don't need to feed our kids oreos and ton of ice cream and butter laden stuff and a lot of sugary refined sugar stuff we, they don't need that right the sugary cereal that's all bad so do a quick check of what's in your pantry on your fridge and remove the temptation from your house right you don't need to eat it your kids don't need to eat it it's not good for their blood sugar levels and not good for you anyway so remove those temptation of the sugar laden butter laden foods from your fridge and your pantry so avoid the temptation number one number two listen to your body right so if you if you think you're hungry the reason you feel hungry is because you've eaten something that's nutritional dense again Again, I'm, I'm going to focus on eating nutrition dense foods, right? Empty calories, shallow calories don't give you, they might give you the full feeling, but they're not going to satisfy your body and you're going to get a quick, you know, signal to eat again, right? So as long as you're eating wholesome nutrient dense foods, your body will normally take three hours to tell you that you're hungry again the stomach bag takes about two and a half hours to empty in a normal cycle right so it's not going to be before three hours that you're going to feel hungry again so listening to those cues and following them and not writing an emotion is important right so we talked about avoiding the temptation then secondly listening to your body as long as you're eating wholesome meals right and number three eating regularly right doesn't matter how busy your schedule is you can always prep if you know these are the certain times that are always busy for you where you're either busy in work or you're running after your kids or you're something else going on prep for the time 
keep your meal ready, keep your snack ready, keep your smoothie ready. There are so many ways and means of having food ready for you on the table for you to, you know, eat when you're ready to eat. So following a plan, following a routine gives discipline for your body, tells your body when to expect food so you're not all over the place, right? So again, I'll recap, avoid those temptations, number one. Secondly, listen to your body and eat only when you're hungry. If you're eating wholesome foods, you shouldn't be hungry uh, before three hours. And number three, eating regularly, having that discipline to have certain times for having a snack and having a proper sit down meal. Number four, um, not avoiding fat, right? So a lot of people just eliminate fat from their diet, right? which as a nutritionist, I can tell you that there is, this is completely wrong. Um, I, preach, I preach a no elimination diet to all my clients. And so I'm going to support that and tell you that fats has, you know, healthy fats and not healthy fats. There are, there's so much science around that, so much material around it. So include healthy fats in your diet, right? Avocados, coconut oil, um, nuts have healthy fats in it, right? Unsalted, of course. So include these things in your diet. You will be satisfied longer. Fats take longer to break down, which means you will be fuller longer, which means you will not need to eat often. So this also helps you if you know you're not going to have time for that sit down meal. Take your fats in and let that process through your body. Right. So um, again, going through the bullet list, um, avoid temptations. Take the junk and the sugary stuff from your pantry and fridge out of your house. Second, Listen to your body, eating wholesome meals so that you're not hungry before three hours normally. Number three, eating regularly. Don't skip your lunches. Don't skip your breakfasts. Whenever you're having them, have a routine and have a time around it. Number four, including healthy fats in your diet so that you can remain fuller, satisfied longer. And it's really good for your lubrication of your vital organs, right? So eliminating fat is absolutely wrong. Identifying which are the good fats is important, okay? Um, and the last two things, one, the last, the last but one is fighting boredom, right? We normally snack or eat when we are bored, right? When we need to distract our mind, right? That's just, just normal for everybody to go for food because it gives you instant satisfaction, right? So when you start to, and, and you know when you're feeling that, when you start feeling that, grab that glass of water. I know it's not going to be appetizing, but guzzle it down you your signal will go away and you'll be amazed as to how fake that signal was and it was just a distraction that your mind had created so guzzle that uh, that glass of water or you know make your fruit juice in the uh, you know, in the blender, take some whole fruits, uh, put some water, some ice, maybe, you know, some lemon juice, and then just, you know, you know, make your make your juice and drink it up and you will know that you really didn't need to eat it, right? So um, essentially fighting that boredom, fighting the distraction by drinking a lot of fluid or just going out for a walk if you can, or um, putting your favorite television show on or reading a book or, you know, you know, go talk to your kids or walk the dog or do something else, but fight that distraction and channel it to something else that you enjoy or you want to take time to do because that will give it time to change, you know, change uh, the trajectory. And the last one is focusing on what you're eating, right? Being mindful. So I have a plate here of some cheese and raspberries and i just love putting you know beautiful plates together this is and i and i use uh, i used my daughter's you know when she was a little baby i kept some plates around so this is basically i think a dora plate and i like to prepare my meals um in this fashion because a you know it gives me sweet memories it get, lets me calm down it gives me color on the plate that creates a lot of you know like good feelings so i'm not in a rush to finish the food. I feel so happy about it that now I can eat this 
over a period of time. So I'm controlling my blood sugar levels even when I'm eating healthy food, which is very important to not eat your food in a rush, to enjoy the meal, Me being mindful about looking at the food and just like creating your platter so it gives you a lot of satisfaction even just looking at it, right? So really focusing on what's in your plate, looking at how much nutrition it brings you and just being happy about like you created a plate, you had so many memories on it and that you're gonna fuel your body, okay? So this is the end for today's segment. It's about 15 minutes long. So I'm going to leave some tips at the top so you can, you can um, listen to it as well in bits and pieces. So we started to talk about binge eating and then we talked about the symptoms of binge eating and then we talked about the binge eating cycle and we talked about how to identify you are in a binge eating cycle and how to start breaking out of it. Hope you enjoyed the segment today. I will be back with more on binge eating. Have a happy Friday um, and watch the space for more from me, uh, your neighborhood nutritionist and fitness uh, trainer, Anishi. Bye. Have a good day.